Okay, well, welcome to this electrical upgrade for my 2018 Winnebago View 24J. Today, we're going to swap out the undersized Group 24 batteries for AGM Group 31 batteries. And we are going to install another 175 watts of solar on the roof. And we're going to install a battery management system so we can track how that's going. This is the battery management system made by Victron Energy. And uh, it consists of a head unit, uh, a shunt, and a cord, and some limited instructions with a Bluetooth dongle so I can read the readings from my phone. Here's the existing battery comp compartment with the two Group 24 batteries in it before I untangled all the wires. And here's the two Group 31 batteries we're going to install. I started by labeling the critical wires so that when I take them all apart I'll remember how to put them back together. I'm finding the labeler really helpful for all kinds of things on this camper. Because of the way that Winnebago configured this instrument panel, there's not enough room for my battery management system up here. So I took out all the drawers and you can see I have access to the wiring here, which is going to let me run the wire from the battery compartment and follow this ducts to back here and I'm just going to mount the battery management system down in this panel here. I don't really need to look at it very often because it has a Bluetooth compatible controller. If you paw through these wires under the lower drawer you'll find it like a two inch hole on the floor so I'm going to use that hole to feed the wire over to the battery compartment and then I'm going to seal it up. I'm going to use this Diablo 2 and an eighth inch hole saw to drill a hole in that cabinet. But first I'm going to do a test hole on a test piece of wood to make sure it's the right size. I started by just cutting a test hole in a piece of cardboard and we'll see if this is the right size. So the Victron fits perfectly in the cardboard so I know it's going to fit in the panel when I drill the hole. So now I'm going to drill the real hole. Okay, we've got the, coal, the hole drilled. Now we'll mount the device. So I'm now going to use a bunch of these cable ties and I'm going to root the wire under the camper, tying it to the frame, and come up into the battery compartment. I don't think I'm going to be able to film this, but uh, just climb under there with some grubbies on and figure it out. All right. All right, so there's the Victron headpiece mounted and then I ran the Bluetooth back here and just set that on the ground here and that's the Bluetooth dongle that's where that will live and there's the excess wire for the battery signal from the shunt and heading into the hole on the floor which we'll caulk later. That wire runs under the chassis through the luggage compartment through a hole in the luggage compartment and over to the battery compartment. Well, now I've removed the two batteries. I labeled all the wires and uh, I removed the main fuse so we'd have room for clearance. And now I have to fit the new batteries in. I worked laying everything out that I took out in the order and I used a magnetic container so I wouldn't lose all the nuts and bolts. I'm going to need 26 inches across to fit those two batteries into the compartment. But the vertical bracket here and here is narrower than that. There's plenty of room in the cabinet left to right, but I'm going to have to grind off these two ears. Okay, I'm ready to start grinding. Got all the personal protective equipment on. So I got the uh, 
Got the brackets sawn off. You can see it's aluminum, so it's not very hard to do. Probably even do with a hacksaw if you didn't have a grinder. And then I made some metal and styrofoam platforms to just protect the bottom of the battery compartment. Now that we're putting in a sealed battery, you don't need this really to be open to the elements anymore. We got the two batteries in. Takes just a little bit of maneuvering, but they, they fit comfortably. If you've got bigger batteries in this, you're gonna to wanna to trim the side metal here as well, but these batteries fit and held the, the two together very snugly. So now it's just time to rewire everything together. All right, about 40 minutes later, we have the wiring complete. So it starts with the wires coming from the auxiliary line to the start battery and the chassis ground going to the voltage meter shunt and then the main ground going from that shunt to one side of my battery, negative battery, that negative battery goes to that negative battery. And then this is the main power for the chassis with a central fuse and that line comes around here to uh, a positive pole and the start auxiliary start line is here uh, the parallel cable is here and that that goes there so pretty much we're ready to turn things on and see how it works All right, so that's the finished product. There's just two bolts there that are holding on the shunt for the <clears throat> battery monitor. And uh, inside, uh, that's the finished battery monitor in place underneath the refrigerator. And I'll just put the drawers in. This is the Bluetooth dongle here that communicates with my phone to tell me the history of the voltage use. And um, I can see here on the battery levels that uh, my batteries are looking pretty good. They've already dropped down from the full charge and they're going down to more of a float charge. So that installation was complete. Now I'm moving on to the solar panels that'll get mounted on the roof. <clears throat> this is a 175 watt panel that I got from Amazon. And uh, it came with these brackets and I just mounted those brackets on like that <clears throat> and then I'm going to apply this thread locker to it um, to make sure they're secure. I cleaned the uh, top of the camper with both uh, like a solvent and then a mixture of alcohol and water and let it dry and now we're going to go mount that panel up on the roof. My wife helped me hoist this panel up to the roof. I've cleaned the roof off. Now I'm just checking the position on the roof and the length of the cords. And I'm gonna plug into this penthouse, but I have to check the polarity to make sure that uh, I'm going in the right place.